This will be the first in a series of videos where I intend to pick some common rocks and uh, tumble them in a rock tumbler, show you what the, uh, what the starting rocks look like, what the finished rocks look like, and uh, some of my successes and failures. I uh, hope you enjoy the series. Uh, fun with rocks. Big flat rock. Discards down here. Things I smash to see what's water play with. Um, and what I have here is feldspar. And I want to start shaping it for a rock tumbler. Almost seems too bad to do something with a big one like this, but I can see it's going to line through here and here, possibly here and here. Yeah, there's a line right there. So let's uh, let's get it down to a size that'll fit the tumbler. So, I know that might make some people sick to see big rocks being turned into small rocks, but uh, hopefully we'll be pleased with the results. When All right, <laughs> what I did is I got up my tile saw and uh, it's got a kind of a rough blade on it, but um, it appears to be working. All I wanted to do was take some of these bigger rocks and make them a little more appropriate for the tumbler. And a few of the pieces I've shaped roughly into something I might want to see at the end of the tumbling process. So we're going to try to help out Mother Nature with the rocks. Results of tumbling for the better part of a month 
The nice thing is um, the polishing helped make them translucent and you can actually see some character within when you shine it in the sunlight. Um, even the thicker pieces like this one you can you can see some character inside. If I was to do this again my recommendation would be to cut more in the shape of like a bear claw or a shark's tooth or something like that because I think it would make an awfully attractive pendant. Otherwise um, hope you enjoyed this and in the next video I will tumble fluorite.